Hello, my dear children. Welcome back to English learning session. Uh, today, we are going to learn the structure of toll tenses. Up to the last session, we learned how to prepare toll tenses with the help of a chart. Okay, so now we are going to learn this aspect, right? The structure of what the purpose of uh, this aspect and how to create the structure of these toll tenses. So, let's get started how to create the structure. Uh, my dear children, now we are going to see uh, toll tenses structure, how to prepare the structure of uh, toll tenses. First, let's see simple tenses and its aspects. So, we have simple present, simple past and simple future. For making structure of simple present, first you have to learn the structure. That is subject plus verb 1 plus object okay so for example teacher is going to write an uh, write here one example subject i verb eat a mango here i is the subject verb one v1 is the base form that means we have three forms v1 v2 and v3 eat ate eaten so here we are choosing the first form that is v1 i eat a mango okay this is what how to write in the symbol present form subject plus v1 v1 means there is no change in the verb format we simply consider the first form base form and object here object is mango so how to write the example I eat a mango. Okay. So, now we are going to learn simple past. So, in the past we have the structure is subject plus V2. See, the present we used V1. In the past we are using V2. And it's object as same. Object. Subject plus V2 plus object. Okay. So, what is a V2 form of this same I'm going to consider the same example. Subject I. So, V2. It becomes 8 in the V2 form. I ate a mango. The objects remain the same. What is the example? In simple past, I ate a mango. Okay. Next is simple future. The structure of simple future is subject plus will plus v1 plus object okay so what is the subject here i teacher is considering the same example i'm changing into the different aspects and the different structure of, of this tense form i subject is i then will you have to consider the will i will v1 form what is the v1 form it i will eat a mango Okay, so this is what simple present tense, simple past tense and simple future tense making the structure. In the simple present tense, we have subject plus V1. V1 means the base form of the verb. There is no change in the verb format plus object. Then simple past, subject plus V2. V2 means the second form of the verb. Change We have to change it as 8. Example, 8. V2 plus object. Next is simple future, subject plus will plus v1 plus object. That means the example is like I will eat a mango. Okay, so now let's get, uh, go to the continuous tenses. So continuous tenses, again we have three aspects, present continuous, past continuous and future continuous. So let's see how to create the structure of present continuous. Present continuous, the format is subject plus HV. HV means helping verb plus verb plus ing plus object. Okay, so here the format is different. Subject plus helping verb. Helping verb means am, um, is, are in the present form, was, were in the past form. So, you can, you can find more helping verbs. Okay, teacher here going to write the example of present continuous. Write the same example in the present continuous form. Okay. Subject is I. <clears throat> now this present form. So, 
am uh, i'm going to t okay, select helping verb as am i am <coughs> then verb what is a verb eat is a verb we have to consider the ing form also here eat plus ing eating i am eating what is our object a mango so i am eating a mango okay so i am eating a mango present continuous tense next is past the the format of past continuous is subject plus helping verb plus verb ing plus object okay here this is in the past form our helping verb we are changing into was or were see how to write the example subject is uh, remaining the same i helping verb in the past form i was i was eating we eat is a, a verb eat plus ing eating i was eating a what is the object mango is the object i was eating a mango okay next is future continuous so what is the format of future continuous subject plus will be see here be is very important future continuous we have to use in the future tense we will all we only use will but in the future continuous we also have to use be will be subject plus will be plus verb plus ing the same remaining the same and object okay let's see the example how to write in the future continuous subject as i <coughs> then will be i will be then v v i n g is wing that means verb plus i n g okay i'll be eating <coughs> eat plus i n g eating it is a verb and we have to add the i n g form yeah, i'll be eating a mango <coughs> okay so this is what we have we are finding the structure of continuous tenses we have present continuous tense the format is subject plus helping verb plus verb plus ing plus object helping verb in the sense am um, is are in the present form okay next is past continuous tense you have the format subject plus helping verb in the past form that means was or where you can use here plus verb plus ing an object then the example changes like i was eating a mango next is future continuous tense subject plus will be here you have to uh, give important the format is will be we are using the format is will be subject plus will be plus verb plus ing plus object i'll be eating a mango okay so hope you understood how to create continuous tenses next is perfect tenses and its aspects okay so we have present perfect past perfect and future perfect let's see what is a uh, format of uh, perfect tense and how to create the example so present perfect we have a format subject plus have or has here have and has we change the the, the verb here as have or has how we can use for plural form has for singular form and now we are using the third format of the verb third form v3 form for example v1 v1 eat v2 ate v3 eaten okay so take v1 <coughs> then took v2 and taken v3 this is how we are we are finding the v1 v2 v3 form so now here present perfect form what is the format subject plus have or has plus v3 plus object v3 we can also call as the past participle form of the verb okay so let's see how to write the example the same example teacher is going to write in the perfect present perfect format okay subject is i then i we cannot say like i has so i'm going to write i have i have then we are right we, we cannot take the v1 or v2 form we are going to take the v3 form that means eat becomes eaten i have eaten then objects remain the same i have eaten a mango okay so this is what a present perfect tense and the example now let's go to the 
past perfect we have the format is subject plus had here we are using this is in the past form not in the present form okay so we are using had plus v3 in the present form we use has or how plus v3 but in the past form we are using had plus v3 okay subject plus had plus v3 plus object okay let's see the example i had v3 again what is the v3 form eaten i had eaten a mango okay so next is future perfect so in the future perfect the format is subject plus will plus have plus here we are using will and have okay future perfect you have you keep in mind will plus have plus v3 form and the object so subject is write the example subject i then again will i will then i can have i will have next what is the v3 form eaten i will have eaten a mango okay so my dear student hope you get the idea of how to create the present perfect tense structure an example past perfect tense structure and example future perfect tense structure and example finally we are moving to the perfect continuous tense and its aspect how to create the structure so present perfect continuous tense let's see the structure subject plus has or how plus been see here this is the keyword present perfect continuous tense whenever you are talking about a present perfect tense always keep this as the keyword been okay subject plus has or how plus been plus verb plus ing plus object whenever you are writing an example just practice this format and write the example okay so teacher is going to write the same example in the present perfect continuous format what is the subject i is the subject and we 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 never use i has okay of course we will use i have i have then we have to add the been here i have been then verb plus ing what was our verb eat eat then we have to add the ing format i have been eating what is object mango i have been eating a mango okay so this is what how to create a, an example sentence for present perfect continuous tense next is past perfect continuous tense so let's see the example subject plus A again it's in a past form so we are considering had plus been been is very important here that is a keyword for perfect format okay subject plus had plus been plus verb plus ing plus object okay so see the example subject i in the past form we are using had i had then been again i had been eat plus ing that is means verb plus ing eat i had been eating then objects remain the same i had been eating a mango okay so see how i created the example for past perfect continuous tense what is the format subject plus had plus been plus verb plus ing plus object okay next is future perfect continuous tense the the format or the structure is subject plus will see few in the case of future always you have to keep in mind will or shall you can also write shall instead of will okay subject plus will plus how plus been plus verb plus ing plus object okay see the example i <coughs> will i will have i will have been i will have been then verb plus ing i will have been eat plus ing eating object a mango i will have been eating a mango okay this is how future perfect examples is create example is creating you can create different example with the same structure okay my dear children i i hope that you understand uh, all the structure and how to create the example so this is how you have to do the activity take four sheet of a four sheet paper 
uh, for set of uh, for sheet paper and write this heading and all the format in the same way try to create different example this is um, this is what I have created the example you have to try it with different examples and different sentences okay every time remember one thing the structure is the same you are going to create different examples for this tall te tenses okay uh, so hope you will uh, you will write this uh, for the next day as your activity uh, bye everyone if you have any doubt you can get in get in touch with me anytime thank you